Hey guys. Hey. How's everybody doing? Hey Greg, just kidding, wherever you are. He hates when we start that way. I just want to make sure everybody has drinks though. It's pretty intense getting drinks here, isn't it? You didn't know like making up your mind for two so quickly would be so hard. Good. Good. I want to start talking about something kind of serious, something that's going on in the world. Um, Posh Spice and David Beckham are moving here. <laughs> yeah. And truthfully, she's my hero. You guys know this. She is, because she has officially not eaten for like three years straight. <laughs> that is amazing. I imagine she wakes up in the morning and she's like, I'm full. <laughs> That's all she eats. I don't know why she's so pissed off. She's angry, right? Have you seen the pictures? Have you seen her? She's pissed and she is so rich. How can you be angry? I'm angry because I have to work, right? <laughs> that pisses you off, but if you are loaded, you should be happy. But she married a professional athlete. I know how that feels. <laughs> it happened to me. Yeah, when I got married, my husband was a professional athlete. He was a professional football player, and our life was awesome. Then all of a sudden, yeah. You know, it's true. He decided he wanted to make a difference in the world and become a social worker. <laughs> I don't remember the exact conversation, but I think it was something like, uh, <clears throat> hey, baby, uh, can we talk? Sure. Uh, I was thinking of quitting football and giving up all our worldly possessions and uh, helping people with drug problems. I was like, well, that's fine, honey, but you don't need to quit football for that. Think of all the people you can help on your team. <laughs> and then he said something like, no, baby, I'm talking about poor people. I want to be a social worker. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. It's a bad idea. You know, we used to hang out with famous people at the Palms and sip champagne. Now we party with crackheads at picnics <laughs> and drink shots and eat croutons. <laughs> don't worry because our life still has a little football in it. Thank God, right? I swear, every time we're done having sex, the man reaches over to the nightstand, grabs a Gatorade bottle, dumps the shit on my head, <laughs> and says, great job, baby, hit the showers. <laughs> tough because it's the same person over and over again. I don't really remember saying that in my wedding vows, but that's what everybody's doing. Like. That's the rule. Um, it's harder for me than for him because I didn't have enough sex before I got married. I got married young, and um, I've only slept with two people in my whole life. That's intense. Right? <laughs> but it wasn't my idea. This is what happened when I was in high school. I'm from the South, and all my Christian friends were like, Hey, Kelsey, we're not having sex till we're married, okay? And I was like, Sure! They lied. <laughs> By the time I found out, I was behind. <laughs> to spice it up a little bit and he's been good we've got this new thing going we're trying role playing have you guys ever tried that you need to come somebody else <laughs> yeah it's, i mean I'm, I'm getting into it you've got to we're desperate <laughs> <laughs> so the other night i don't know he had me being something like a cheerleader whatever right so I just, I just do it um, but i thought say a few things, you know, add a little dialogue, add to the moment, and all of a sudden he stops, he's like, shh, why, he's like, I'm sorry, baby, I hope you don't mind, it's just better if I don't hear you. <laughs> I can hurt, right, right here, right here. I got back into it, because I'm good, and I'm from the south, and <laughs> he stopped me again, I'm like, what? He's like, I'm sorry, baby, but why are your eyes closed so tight? I said, oh, I hope you don't mind, but it is totally better if I don't see you. <laughs> he didn't like it. He didn't like that. But you know, I don't like a lot of things either. I don't like how we start sex now. I miss the romance of dating. I miss the ambiance of wine, candles. You know what happens to me? I get assaulted. 
I'm in a costume and, 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 and accused in my own home. I swear to God, I will be minding my own business, doing the dishes, and all of a sudden I will hear across the kitchen, Hey, have you been naughty? <laughs> I said, have you been a bad girl? <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I'm good. Thanks. No. I sure have been. I have been bad. And he's like, oh, yes, you have. You know, I'm like, Jesus Christ, stop. You know, you are 6'5", 300 pounds, and you are making me nervous. <laughs> You've got to back down, big boy. <laughs> I mean, I understand. We all have fantasies, right? He wants me to be bad, and I want him to be skinny. <laughs> Right there, and I love him. I love him. Good guy. I think the good news is that the best part of our life is we have a kid, and he's awesome. Okay, I know, you're like, oh, those people should really be parents. That's smart. <laughs> in LA is just weird. Um, I'm from the South and people are different there. Where I'm from, having children is God's work. It's what we do. We have babies. When I went home and I was pregnant, people were like, oh my God, you are pregnant and you are glowing. That is the miracle of the Lord growing inside you. Oh my God, it's about time. Enjoy every minute. I felt so supported. I got back out here to LA. People were like, oh, knocked up in your 20s. <laughs> children when you're younger. I don't think having babies when you're 50 is normal. I don't think having six children at one time, that's weird. Right? If you are going through menopause and nursing, you're strange. 